دروس من المسجد النبوي الشريف In English In English In English Then the Prophet sallallahu says وما أمرتكم به فاتوا منه ما استطعتم And what I have commanded you to do, then do of it what you are able to do. Now this does not mean that the believer picks and chooses what he wants to do from Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, for example, فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ مَا اسْتَطَعْتُمْ Which has this similar meaning to this hadith. Fear Allah, have taqwa of Allah to the best of your ability. And Allah azza wa jal says, لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وُسَعَهَا Allah does not burden a soul with more than it can bear. This again does not mean that we just pick and choose what we want to do for, from Islam. And so for example, Salat al-Fajr is a little bit difficult because I like to stay up at night. And so, Dani, I do what I can from Islam. I have a good heart, alhamdulillah. Good to my neighbor. I'm good to people. And so as a result, I fear Allah to the best of my ability, and Fajr is really not in my ability. And subhanAllah. This, this, and, and, and again, if it wasn't something that and a person experienced himself listening to other people say these types of things, then it wouldn't be something that I would mention. But unfortunately, this is the, the understanding that some people have. This is not what this means. This means that you do everything that is in your ability to fulfill the commands of Allah and His Messenger And that which you, in actuality, are not able to do, then you are excused from. This is a qaida in the religion. As Imam Abdul Rahman bin Nasir al-Sa'di, Hafidh Allah mentioned in his poetry on al-qawaid al-fiqih or legal maxims, he says, وَلَيْسَ وَاجِبٌ بِلَا اقْتِدَارِ وَلَا مُحَرَّمٌ مَعَ اتِّرَارِ So there is no wajib except with ability. And there is nothing that is haram when there is a dire necessity. And I'll explain that now, inshallah. Because it will sum up what we just covered. طيب. Here, we worship Allah to the best of our ability. So we are commanded to do what in prayer? We are commanded to stand in the prayer. If a person cannot stand up in the prayer, or it causes him abnormal difficulty, then he is allowed to sit down. You see the chair here? That's because somebody was sitting down in the prayer. Is he allowed to sit down in prayer? If he doesn't have the ability to stand, then he can sit down in the prayer. What if somebody can't even sit down in the prayer? Then he can lay down. And he can lay down on his side. And this is explicitly mentioned in the hadith where the Prophet wasallam says, Salli qa'iman. Pray standing. Fillam tastati' fa'qa'idan. And if you don't have the ability, then sitting down. Wallam tastati' fa'ala al jamb. And if you don't have the ability, then on your side. Fayyab. We are also in Islam. And we should revive this sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. And I, when I say sunnah, I'm not talking about sunnah as in it's not obligatory. As in it's not wajib. No. It's the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and it is obligatory. That we command the good and we forbid the evil. Al-amr bin ma'roof wa nahiyan al-munkar. But what did the Prophet ﷺ say about that? Huh? مَنْ رَأَى مِنْكُمْ مُنْكَرَى فَلْيُغَيِّرْهُ بِيَدِهِ Whoever from amongst you sees something that is evil, then let him change it with his hand. Huh? فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِيعِ And if he doesn't have the ability, then with his tongue. And he says something. فَإِن لَمْ يَسْتَطِيعِ فَبِقَلْبِهِ And if he doesn't have the ability, then in his heart. يعني he shouldn't like what he's seeing. He should feel some kind of way. His heart should move. وَذَلِكَ أَضْعَفُ الْإِيمَانِ And that is the weakest of faith. So we have this again, we have this leveling off. Yani that is that a person starts 
by doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded. And if he doesn't have the ability to do it all, then he does what he can do. And there is another principle in Islam that is directly related to this hadith. And for those of you who know a little Arabic, you should try to memorize it. Al-Maysuru la yaskutu maysur. La yaskutu bil ma'sur. That which is easy huh, is not negated because of that which is difficult. I'll explain that because it sounds a little weird. Meaning that if, for example, a person has the ability to stand up for some of the prayer. Okay, because we know, for example, you might know somebody. He, he can stand up without a problem, but once he sits down, he can't stand back up. Right? He can't start the prayer sitting down. He has to start the prayer standing up. Because he can do that. That part of that part there is mesur. That's easy for him to do. That's easy. He has the ability to do that. But once he goes down into sujood, he's not going to be able to stand back up. No problem. He, he remains sitting for the rest of the salat. So that which is mesur for him to do, that which is easy for him to do, uh, cannot be abandoned just because he doesn't have the ability to do the rest. Okay? So what he can do partially, he does. And he is to do the rest to the best of his ability. And these are principles in Islam that we should understand. Because they go into every aspect of our religion. 